Hey there, this is Stacy. I hope everyone's having a fabulous day. I am here today to share a small haul with you. These are the items that I got when I was just on vacation in San Francisco. My girls had fall break from school, so they went down to our house in Pebble Beach for the weekend, and then my husband and I met them there, and then we drove up to San Francisco. My husband dropped us girls off in San Francisco and went on to work, and then he went home. So this was kind of the first vacation or one of the first vacations. Um, we did London, the girls and I by ourselves, but this was another vacation where it was just us by ourselves and um, having to figure out what to do and when to do it and how to get where we were going. We didn't have a car or anything with us, so it was kind of cool. It was really fun. We went on the cable car rides. We've actually been to San Francisco before, but we tried to do things that we haven't done in the past, and so we went on the cable car rides, which we hadn't done before. We walked across the San Francisco uh, the Golden Gate Bridge, which we hadn't done before. We went to a show. We saw Beautiful, which is a Carol King's show. Um, it's the story of her life, um, or a good part of her life, and it was fabulous. I love her music. You don't realize all the songs that she wrote for other artists. And actually, my girls didn't really know her, but they really, really loved the show. So if you're ever in San Francisco or wherever they're having the Broadway show called Beautiful, I highly recommend it. So, um, what else? We did lots of shopping and lots of eating. Lots and lots of walking around, probably at least five miles a day. So, I thought that was a good part. You know, it left you exhausted and ready to sleep at night, that's for sure. So, I'll just go ahead and start with what I got. I kind of told myself I was going to try to get things on my trip that were things that I couldn't get at home. So, the first stop was Macy's. And actually, my first item's over there on a the shelf. Um, not a big deal. I had to get a pair of shoes. We walked you know, just from our hotel to Macy's, and already my brand new shoes were kind of digging into my feet, so I needed to get more comfortable shoes, so that's what I started my trip with, was a pair of just ballet flats from Lucky Brand, um, just a plain sort of pale silvery kind of shoe that would go with everything. That's what I started with, and that was probably the best thing I got on the whole entire trip. Uh, or not the best thing, but the most uh, wise thing that I picked up. So anyway, okay, Macy's first stop. Of course, they have an Inglot counter in Macy's, and I do not have access to Inglot at home, and I do have some Inglot products already. I have several palettes, but I picked up another palette, and this is the one that has a face powder, press powder, a blush, and then two shadows, and funny enough, I didn't have the, the um, powder, because this is my first powder from them. The blush, I need to check and see if I have already. I'm not sure. I kind of feel like I might, or if I'm hoping I don't. I'm hoping the one that I have is similar. I probably need to keep kind of like a running list in my phone of things I have so I don't keep purchasing them over and over again. And then it has slots here for two um, eyeshadows. So I love the Inglot palettes. I think they're fun. Their makeup's not expensive or anything, and it's good quality. So I did get two shadows. And one of them I got home and realized I did have already. I think we're always drawn to the same things. And, of course, we are always drawn to the same things, or at least I am. So I will show you the one that I got that I don't already have that I now realize I can put in my palette. And you can switch these around. They're just the little magnetic palettes. So I will be switching them around anyway. So anyway, this is just the color that I got. Just a nice matte brown color to use for blending. And it is number 337. So, I won't bother showing you the other one because, well, maybe I'll show it to you anyway. It's um, a real pretty pearl color, I think is the finish. Uh, yeah, pearl, number 399. Like I said, I have this one already. And it's a pretty uh, light, purpley type of color. And it's in the pearl family there. So that was the other one that I got from there. So that was the first place that I went to that I was happy about that I... Oh, what do I have here? Oh, I got an extra palette just for putting some of my other shadows in for travel. So there's that. Then what else did I get? My girls probably were so tired of me looking in stores that were for beauty products, so I tried really hard not to. However, um, someone that I follow on Instagram and um, was also in San Francisco at the same time, and she was posting things that she was buying. And 
I had to go to the store that she went to because I really, really, really wanted to try this polish. And this is the new product from that CND, which is Creative Nail Design, I think. And this is their new product called Vinylux. And I had seen about seen it written about in maybe InStyle Magazine and then again people on Instagram. And everybody, of course, keeps each other up to date on the latest and greatest on Instagram and other places. So um, go follow me on Instagram. I love Instagram and um, I post on there pretty much almost every single day something. So anyway, this is the product and this is a top coat. And this is a top coat that you're supposed to be able to put on your nails and your polish is supposed to stay looking great. No chips, budges, smudges, whatever for a week. So this is a top coat. Now, their product, uh, their normal product that we all know about is like the shellac product, I think is a CMD one, and you have to use the light to cure it, and then you have to soak it off. Well, I did not get along very well with acetone and soaking off product, so I decided I'm not going to do that anymore, and I've just been going with regular polish and my lovely, beautiful... Uh, natural nails that I'm having a really hard time growing out. Not that I'll be growing them out very long, but they're just still real fragile from having fake nails on there for so long that they're just chipping and cracking and splitting and doing all kinds of fun things. So anyway, I have a treatment polish on there right now, and I'll talk about that in a second. So anyway, I hated all that stuff that had to do with gel polish, and so now this Vinylux is supposed to be week-long polish that you can keep on, and then you just take it off with regular nail polish remover. Um, you know, you just don't have to soak it and do all that other crazy stuff that takes a long time and really dries your nails out. So I did go ahead and pick out two of the polish colors. The thing with the Vinyl Lux also is that you don't need a base coat. This is supposed to kind of like, I guess, adhere to your nails, etc. And then you put the top coat on and you're good to go for a week. It dries supposedly in about five minutes. I have not used it yet. So these are the two colors that I purchased. Let me see if I can tell what the color is called here. Um... I don't know if that's the color or not. Yikes. I'm going to have to list it somewhere else. Maybe you guys can see it here. That's what it is. I'm going to have to get my little magnifier out to see exactly what that is so I can give you the accurate name for it. Um, it looks like F12 or something like that. I don't know. Or 152. I don't know. Sorry. Just a pretty, like, pinky nudie nail color. Then the other one is this real pretty color for fall in like a wine type color. My daughter picked that color out for me. And it looks like it's called maybe Bloodline. Uh, maybe like something number 06 or something. There's the color. If it shows up here on camera, I'm not sure. I don't have one of those focusing cameras. So that's the color there. And um, anyway, I will put the link or not the link, but the words down here somewhere on both of those polishes. And then, like I said, I put this on top. I will be putting this on top to seal that in for a week. Then I talked to the girl that worked there in the shop, which was called um, Beauty Land. And that was just right there in Union Square, right next to Macy's in San Francisco. And was telling her about the situation with my nails and told her, I said, I didn't tell her what I was using already, but just said, what product is the best for helping with this? And she told me this Nail Teaks. And I was using Nail Tech, but this one's Nail Teaks Formula 2, and it's the Nail Protein. It just says it's for soft, peeling, bitten, weak, or thin nails. So I have been using this ever since I got it, putting it on every single day. And I really do feel like this is making a better difference for my nails than the other one did. Um, the girl that worked at the store there was an actual Nail Tech, and she said she uses this all the time and has really good luck with it. So I am giving it a go, and so far, so good. So there's that. And then, oh my gosh, on the last day, I think, my girls and I were walking around Union Square once again. We were walking down Market Street all the way to the Embarcadero because we thought there were food trucks there. And my daughter wanted to check that out. And of course, we got there and there were no food trucks there. So if you know about that, let me know because we had no clue and would love to find out in the future. So anyway, there was a Sephora store there at Union Square. And I went in there to get the new Sephora, or, I'm sorry, Laura, new Laura Mercier eyeshadow palette that is absolutely gorgeous that I've seen other people show on Instagram once again. And I really wanted it and they didn't have it. 
However, this was probably the best Sephora I have been in in my whole entire life. They had brands there that I have never seen even in a Sephora store or even knew that they carried in Sephora. There was all of our regular brands that we're used to seeing there, you know, Urban Decay and Benefit and all that kind of stuff. But then they also had, um, I'm just going to list a couple that I remember. There was Becca Cosmetics. There was Cogendo. There was Cover FX. There was Estee Lauder. There was, um, well, Guerlain is not in all the stores, but it was there. Um, YSL was there. I guess that's probably in all the stores and Hourglass and, um, gosh, let me see. What else was there? There were just brands. Uh, Guerlain, um, 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 I don't know. Just every brand I could have wanted to have was there. If I remember more, I'll put them down below somewhere. Um, anyway, so I got a product that I had wanted to try. My skin, I have rosacea, and I don't really get flare-ups that often, but for some reason I've had one lately. I don't, it's probably because I haven't been sleeping and who knows what, eating bad and all that kind of fun stuff. And so hmm, I got Cover FX I had heard about before, and this is a foundation. It's just a natural finish, oil-free foundation, and it said it was for kind of like problematic skin, rosacea and things like that, and covering redness and all. So I thought I'd try it. Um, the only complaint about the store was that I had a really hard time finding someone to help me do a color match. I kind of picked out colors and thought I was right, but you know, I didn't want to spend the money and the, make the effort and buy the product if I wasn't positive on the color. So I did have someone help me, and I got the N40 is the color there that I picked out, um, which it says directions is to apply to cleaned and primed skin with the liquid foundation brush or with fingertips and blend well, lay your product to desired coverage. I believe this um, could get up to a, at least, I think at least a medium to full coverage. I'm not positive, I don't recall. If I find out, I'll put something right here for you. But anyway, this is the foundation. Like I said, my color is N40 in that. I have only used it once and I will tell you that I really wasn't too fond of it. However, I put it on over, I think I had like stuff on my skin, uh, you know, like spot treatments and stuff that I had put on in the spots that I was having trouble. Um, I had put that on in the morning and then put this on over it. So that could be part of the problem. And like I said, I've only tried it one time. So I will be giving that another shot and see what I think. And then to go hand in hand with it, I did get the pressed powder. This is their pressed mineral foundation compact. And my color in this one, I decided to get the N30. So, let's see here. It's one of those that comes with, um, you know, the pressed powder and then the brush, or not a brush, but a foam applicator. I think that's really kind of weird. I don't like using that. I like using a brush with my um, powdered foundation. So, anyway, that's that one. Um, I did only use it the one time that I had that uh, liquid foundation on and just kind of pat it on um, with my brush, kind of stippled it into the skin. I didn't want to kind of irritate everything and, and kind of mess things up. So anyway, I'll let you know how that goes. Um, I did save the receipt in case I need to return it. I'll be returning it if I, if I do here in Dallas, but um, I'm sure they don't mind taking back brands. They just send it back anyway, I'm sure, but uh, brands that they don't carry in their store. But Anyway, that was the coolest Sephora that I've seen in my life. And I'm going to try to put some pictures here at the end of some of the things that the girls and I did in San Francisco. I did Instagram some of them, but of course there were lots more. So anyway, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all again soon. Bye.